We lost your audio again, Dalian. Can you not hear me? No, that's good. Go ahead, Dalian. Okay. Excellent. Okay, go ahead, Dolly. Raise, raise it up a little bit so it can hear it better. There you go. Can you keep looking for it? Good. Okay, let's go to Susan. That's good, Dolly. Excellent. Okay, go ahead, Susan. A little bit more, Susan. Good, good, everybody. Okay, good. Now for the, um, now for the, um, for the, oh, it is my, no, that's not it. Nope. Okay, well, we're, sorry. So the next one for the improvisers, we're gonna go up one more note to B flat. Steve, you should be able to find that as the, um, as if the set of three would be the third one there. That's it. So we're gonna it's do- It's gonna be with a small B. That's it, B with a small B, boom. That's it. Okay, so we're gonna go up. That's the first permutation, right? The second one is starting on the E flat and going up another four notes to that B flat that we just played. There you go, there you go. So Steve, start on your E flat and go up four notes. I'm not hearing that B flat go. Ba, da, da, da. Oh, do you want me to go from the uh, E flat to the B flat? Yes. Oh, I hear it. That's it. Good. Okay, Matt, give it a whirl. Good. Good. So that's permutation number two, right? Okay. And then, um, so Dolly, let's get a rhythmic idea from you. Good, okay, Susan, go ahead. Great, 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 okay, good. So now, now that you have those two permutations, we're all just gonna take about 10 or 15 seconds to do it, okay? Um, okay, so let me go ahead and do it for 10 or 15 seconds. Just take your time to make up a melodic idea. Hear that? Try it out, Steve. That was excellent. Okay, go ahead, Matt. Should have brought my electric guitar and plugged it into something. Oh, I think I think Daniel can give you tips on the iRig if you have one. We'll we'll, we'll follow up. I still I still can hear it. Okay. Yeah, we hear it good. Okay. All right, Daniel, take over. Great, very nice, very nice. Okay, Dolly, those same rhythmic ideas you're hearing, like from dealing, boom, bang, bing, bang. Excellent, very good. Okay, let's go to Susan. That was excellent. Go ahead, Susan. Very, very good. I thought you said you, you weren't used to using it. That sounds excellent. You've just been kind. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Now, now for everybody, we're moving fast. 
we're going to add one more note. We're going to come back around to the octave from the C up to the C. So we did permutation number one. And then we just learned number two, where we went up to B flat, right? Now, if you start on F, you play F, G, B flat, C. Okay? So F, G, B flat, C. Can you play, can you start, Steve? Can you play F, G, B flat, C? Uh, keep going up. B, uh, F, G, B flat, C. Hold on. Oh, B flat. Yeah. Oh, no, play the high C, the one in front of the B flat, the other side. Uh, is it? Yeah. Is that what you mean? We da 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 da. Yeah. Is there a high C I'm over there? Be. There may be. Uh, <laughs> there's a C to the left of the F. Is that it? No, you want the one, the, right the one to the right oh, of it. The one to the right of it. Oh, to the right of it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, got it. Good, good, good. Okay. Good. Okay, Matt, go ahead. Very nice. Good. Okay, Dalian. Oh, it slid into it. Yeah. Okay. Dolly, give us some more rhythmic ideas. And you can do the same that we're doing with the melodies. Da da pa 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 pa. Yeah. That's it. Good, very good. Okay, Susan, go ahead. Excellent, excellent. Okay. Thank you. That yeah, very good. So that's that's the beginning of everything. Now, now that we've got that, we we try to go through two or three rounds without any English. Okay. So if we're gonna keep the same order myself, Steve, Matt, Dalian, Dolly, and Susan, and trying to go three times. Uh, it's really exciting in person. Zoom's, Zoom ain't bad, you know. Uh, I can tell you, Dalian and I know what it's like to do it in person um, with, with a large group. I think we had 25 graduate students at the University of Memphis last summer around this time, right? Which was really exciting. Um, now everyone's frozen. Wait for a oh, minute. Okay, I'm back. All right, my internet's usually pretty good. Uh, let me turn off my phone here and make sure it's not taking any juice up or anything. Uh, but I was saying that we had about 25 grad students last year do this in person. It was really fun. All right, so we're going to try and go around three rounds, okay, without talking. All right, here we go. I'm going to start off. you, Dolly. Oh, me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Okay, Susan? Susan's off. Her. Oh, let me see. It's going on and off. Oh, no, go ahead. Okay, I'm unmuted. Yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah. Great, great. Okay, I, I'm going to interrupt just uh, us going through. So everybody take a little bit longer. Because, Matt, I was ready to keep listening and listening. And then you're like, oh, you're like Stevie Ray in front of Albert King. You're like, oh, I don't want to play that much. Everything's <laughs> <laughs> scary. Yeah. Are we doing the full round? We're doing the full round, right? Yeah, full round. Is that what you're asking? Yeah, coming from the uh, the first C, the Lord C. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's do all three permutations. The full, the full uh, octave. Yes, yes. Very good. And so, so take some time. And um, these permutations or the rhythmic ideas, they're meant to talk to each other. So a lot of times I like 
not that I'm totally thinking about this, but I like permutation one to talk to two, to talk to three, so I make a little. Right? So we get that conversation even in ourselves. I mean, we have everybody here, but even the music itself has its own conversation. So take 15 or 20 seconds, all right? I'll start off, let's go, let's go three times around. All right, here we go. Great. Okay, let's go to Susan. Excellent. Great. Okay, and, and, uh, and I would say what, what Susan's doing is I think we should add that to our next round to really put those rhythmic ideas in. Because I was playing mostly uh, straight notes, but I like to go in. And Matt was doing a great job on that too. So let's add those rhythmic ideas Matt and Susan were doing. So something like this on our next round. to you, Dolly. Perfect. Okay, Susan. That was excellent. Everyone, round of applause for yourselves. Um, I don't know if anybody's a Led Zeppelin fan, but I heard Susan do the beginning of Moby Dick from Led Zeppelin 2. Da 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 da. Wow, we're gonna have a little Led Zeppelin off here. So um, good. 
Now, um, just because we have like a little bit more time and we have a nice intimate group here, let's go back to that view that I had before and then you can get an idea of what we were talking about. Okay, so, um, so what we were doing was those, each of these four notes that you see here and four letters, you can use those on each of the permutations, okay? So um, this, this dot here is an O, this T here is an A, this little dot's an E, and that line's an A. So um, I'm gonna try and figure out how to do this in English, but it was easiest for me in Hebrew. But if you, if you can write these out, if you're gonna practice for the next session, if you can write these out in numbers, I'll, give you, I'll email everybody a number sheet. Um, it's a great way to practice each permutation. And you can do it on the first one. I'm sorry. Right, you can do all of them. If you do them slow, it really helps you build up a whole vocabulary. So now that we've done all four of them, I'll just do that first line up there. I'll do that on permutation number two, okay? So that's Ovagiha, Ovahiga, Ogivahu, Ovahiva, O um Ihigabu, Ihiva Vuga. So I'm just singing and playing all those ideas, and then they just start flowing on their own. You can kind of sing it in your head and go. Da, 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 da. See, it just starts playing itself. And so I really highly recommend that as a, as a, a practice manual. Any questions on that? There was a name for this. A guitar teacher taught me when I was a teenager, where you build in groups of four and add up and add down along the octave. I forget what that teacher called it, but I've, I've seen this technique before. Yeah, like they have, it. yeah, it's great. No, so they, they have permutations has been around since I think John Coltrane made it really popular. You think that's about right, Dalian? Maybe Coltrane made permutations and. Uh, Cause it's a jazz turnaround. It's in the Google. It's coming in and out. Try to say it again. I say it's in group of fours. Uh, it's a jazz, uh, actually a jazz turnaround. So in jazz, they actually go to the four and do it in groups of four for most mm -hmm. of the time. So definitely. Yeah. Groups of four. That's what it was. And it was to learn the different styles of scales is the reason my teacher gave it to me. We do like a pentatonic run through, add one, take away the top. Right. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. And so when we're doing that, but then we're also just changing the order of the notes because there's, there's playing in fours, which a lot of people, especially in blues, like as you said, pentatonic, they stay they advocate going. You hear that a lot. Actually, you hear that a lot in rock and roll. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> a lot, you know, and, and actually really any guitarist that I hear modern goes. All right, but, but that's fine. But that's, that's really scalar. So the, the permutations are to help people go. And, and, and so everything becomes not, you're not forced by the scale to go in a certain direction. It's all about note selection in the moment. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. It also sounds kind of like Ghost Rider. Which one's Ghost Rider? Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh... Oh, yeah. Oh, Low Rider. Yes, yes. Yeah. Sorry, not Ghost Rider, Low Rider, Ghost Rider. Low Rider. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so the same, the, the same permutations that we just did is basically, what was it? Starting from the low C. So it's just rocking from the B flat back to the F, then going back to the C, the high C. The high C, exactly. Uh huh. Yeah, so that's what that's what Daly and I are really trying to get out there to make that this this improvisation is actually really easy. Now, people who play at a high level are playing at a high level and practice eight hours a day. But I mean, to get started and have fun with it, um, you know, it's just it's just when I learned music, just to Matt's point, I learned going up the scale, and then they said, "Oh, you can go in fours." That's the beginning of a song too, and uh, so you know, the beginning. Yeah, that's 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 really 
I think it's a Jeff Beck song. Anyways, so, but, but the reason I've discovered permutations is you don't feel locked into a certain style or a certain scale. And it really makes tons of millions of melodies. And you, you pick each note individually. You know, that, and so that, that's what we're trying to practice. And then that, when we do this on the Zoom and you go faster and you have more time to stay out of language and keep practicing and playing, that's when the magic happens. Do you want to add anything daily into that? Got it on that one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I guess I would say uh, if you don't have fun with it, it's not going to matter. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Exactly right. So on that note, let's go, let's do another round. Okay. Use all three permutations. And um, you know, I might even sing what I'm playing. Let me see, is my guitar coming through? There we go. Um I wonder why that's turned out. Anyway, so I go. Okay. All right, Steve. Nice, very good, everybody. So, so when you're practicing at home, Thank if you have a boom whacker, um, I would say try to make a rhythmic idea that responds to itself, like a. Make it conversationally, even with that. I mean, I really have to practice that myself so my scales and my own playing doesn't sound, um, you know, rhythmically bland. So, um, so that's a great thing. And then for us on the melodic instruments, it's a lot of playing that, but find a way to put a chord behind it. You know, so there's your blues chord, or you can find on the piano or play a drone string. Yeah. I'm playing that C7 to play that C on top of it. And then I, I'll put some bends in, but I'll go. Right? So that, that pentatonic that we did, I mean, people call it the pentatonic scale, but just think about our permutations over C7 chord. And Steve, if you could find a drone string app, I think we've talked about those, right? Have I shown that to everybody? Yeah. Not a drone string app. Yeah. Um, let me get on a, let me get on a YouTube and just bring it up real quick. Just type in drone string, drone sounder, drone um, C. And I'm going to show it to you. Should be this one, yeah. All right, let me come back over here. 
I'm a Zoom pro because my girls. All right, so I like to use this. I hope there's no commercial. Most people and most businesses. Oh, Lord. Okay, right? This phone's going up? Okay. So um, anyways, that's on, right? And I go. Isn't that fun? Yeah, I never yeah. thought that. That's interesting. Yeah, so give yourself a drone to play over. And it, it allows you to hear that in your ear. You know, and you can make that an A, or you could, you, know, you could change this to A and see what it sounds like over a C. It doesn't have to be C to C. And I don't even know what that would sound like. Let's see. And then it gives it that major sound now, right? There's all kinds of ways to, to give yourself a background and see what those sound like against different um, chord tones or, or um, bass notes, bass notes. Yeah. Well, thanks everybody for joining. I thought we'd go one more. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you You're so welcome. much. You're very welcome. We can go Thank one you. more time through, but I thought everyone sounded great. Matt, what was it like your first time on your ULR Zoom? It was really fun, really engaging. I mean, I'm here as a journalist, but I got the joy of getting to participate. So that was fun cool. also. Good, good. Because Matt and I have played together for, I think it was a Federation fundraiser Sunday, right? Super Sunday? Yeah, yeah. It was really fun. And now it's really fun to share this. Um, and this, this is by no means the only way. To do it. So it's a really good structure to make it really fun to improvise and take the mystique away from it. Yeah. Yeah, so as always, thank you to Fedivation, uh, Jewish Community Partners. Thanks to Steve Kaplan. Great to see you, Dolly. And, and Susan, thanks for joining on the phone. And Matt, first time on, thank you. Dalian, great playing. And Steve, you, you were turning you in from a drummer to, to a melodic musician. Oh, man. There's a few. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Jason, let's go. Yes. Can you stick around for a five minute conversation so I can ask you some questions? Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Let's go. Okay. That's great. I'm happy to. Let's go through one more time and then I'll, I'll talk with Matt. Yeah, let's do it one more time. All right, here we go. Now that I know how to play low rider. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got to learn that one, Dalian. Oh, yeah, man. Good now, what, what's that I one? love it. What's that one? What was the first rap song from Sugar Hill Gang? Yeah. Oh gosh, yeah. That's a cool bass line. <laughs> yeah, okay, great. All right, let's go ahead. So let's go. So I'll start first. All right, go ahead, Steve. drummer to play with Dalian. All right. No, man. <laughs> <laughs> that was very good, Dolly. All right, Susan, go ahead. We might play with you.
good. Very good. Thank you. Galen, I, I wonder if you can put a bass line down. I'll try and play over it. We'll see if Zoom can handle it. Give, give it a whirl. Let's see. There will be no encore. Woo! You can rush the stage because I'm in my house. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody. I'll hang with uh, Thank you. Yes, I loved session. it. Hopefully, uh, are we going to do it? Uh, we're going to do it, what, two weeks from tomorrow, right? Two weeks from tomorrow with our other colleague, Cecil McDaniel. And then um, we're all hoping that at some point we get together in person and we'll just keep praying for that day. This has been a great okay. session. And Dolly will have her uh, guitar ready, right? Yeah. And uh, I'll call you to firm it up because I want to try to see if I can get an article together for the Watchmen. So oh, uh, for next Thursday. And can we get Susan a, a xylophone? Susan, could we get one to you if we had one? Do you dare? <laughs> I don't know what I'll do with it. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah, okay. if you that'll be great. Me, I, I can get it to her. You can't do it? Okay, great. I just want to make okay. sure you have that. So we can all have melodic instruments. That would be great. Okay. Just okay. Let me know. Thank you all. Talk to you either today or tomorrow, Jason. Sounds great. Thank Bye, you all. Susan, Thanks, Dolly. Bye, Susan. Thanks. Bye. Thanks, Matt. Thank really appreciate you joining us. It was fun. This was great. Very different yeah. work day. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. So you all are going to teach me how to play guitar? I'm going to show you those four notes and, and do all those uh, permutations. You're going to love okay. it. Okay, uh, you know, uh, yeah. I have to start from the beginning. I have forgot.